Hello everyone, this is King Kony IoT. This video, I will show you a solution that can use the sensor uh, speak words so that uh, you can let the system can speak test uh, just like this. Uh, if the channel one, the sensor of the digital input one, you can see I try gold. Please careful, someone maybe is incoming. Uh, this can speak by the computer or by your Raspberry Pi. And this is channel 1, and I can set the different test. Uh, this is channel 2. Maybe you can connect with a door sensor. You can see I track with the channel 2. Please careful, door is opened. Uh, it will speak. Uh, please careful, the door is open. So this is made by the node red. You can see I can install the node red on my computer just for take the demo video. Uh, my computer have not connected any line. And uh, if you use in your project, I suggest you use a Raspberry Pi. And you can see this is an audio out. Uh, this is speak out. So you can use this speak out connect with a loudspeak. Uh, that is an amplifier. So you can use any amplifier and a loudspeak uh, connect with the Raspberry Pi. Also, if your Raspberry Pi have Bluetooth, you can use Bluetooth speak connect with these two parts together, not need to use one. So, uh, this is node red uh, running on the computer. I have tested uh, the voice, uh, speak voice uh, by the Amazon Alexa and uh, by the Google Home. That all need the internet and need the call server. The most important, I have found the solution that not need the internet, just work in local network. So this is the most important. Okay, now let's begin. I can tell you how to do with it uh, step by step on the node red to create these nodes. Okay, let's look at the node red. Before you use the node red to create the audio, you need to install the dashboard uh, because we use this audio out the this node. You can install this online. This is manage, and you can install and import the dashboard. And you will see this is node red dashboard we used. I have installed. You just uh, install online if you have not used. So I can close and I dry out this audio out and I can double click and you can see this is a group. We need to create a group. Just press this edit button and this the tab we need to create first. This is the website. So we can press this edit button and this is a name. Uh, we can choose a alarm page. Uh, this is a website name you will see in the feature and uh, just press S and uh, we can choose this name is along and press update and press choose this one TTS voice uh, it's important because we can click this and this is a voice engine that's available on the operation system you have installed uh, this is my Windows system and uh, you can choose some uh, voice engine. If you have installed on the Raspberry Pi on Linux, you can also choose this settings just uh, according to your own local language. I have chosen the United States of the English version and uh, press down. And also I can try out a button. And this button I can for test and input the payload. And in the group also I can choose as thing as this audio out. So I can choose this is the alarm page, choose this one. And the, this is the payload. I can input uh, this is King Kone. And press down. And use a line, connect with this together. OK, we can deploy. And just open the dashboard on the website. You can click this. And you will see uh, this is a web page. This is a like hello world, uh, just uh, this is the web page name. We can rename this alarm page, and this is alarm. So I can press this button. This is King Cody. It can speak. Uh, this is King Cody. Uh, every time I press this, this button, is it will speak. So this is how to uh, speak out. And you can see uh, we just change these words uh, that will output uh, the voice. So the second, we just need to know how to read the input point of the relay controller. And this is the digital input for the sensor to use. So we let this box connect with the node read by MQTT. 
uh, we have installed the MOSQT, the MQTD block on the Windows server. Uh, I think you will install this on your Linux uh, on the Raspberry Pi system. And uh, I will easy to take the video, so I have installed the MOSQT on my computer. And also we can set the H32BS. Uh, we can go to the web page. And you can see uh, this is, uh, we have choose the work mode for the MQTT and this is server IP. This is my computer IP. Uh, this is my PC IP and the mosquito is listening on this part. And this is the username and this is the password of the MQTT. Uh, I can, I is always running this mosquito service on my Windows PC. So after you're setting this, uh, you just press uh, this save, then the board will reboot and connect with the uh, MQTT broke, and we're back to the node red window, and uh, we can choose MQTT in node, uh, this, this node. And I can double click, and this is the IP and the part uh, you can edit uh, for your MQTT broke, uh, this is my computer IP. And this is the part. And this is good uh, for the MQTT username and the password. Because I have input last time, so it remembered the, the test. You just uh, input it for yourself. And this is the topic. The topic you can find in our website. Adjust the knowledge and the home assistant and choose H32B. Then you will find this uh, topic of the state, uh, just uh, this one. String the xx just replace from your UID. We can copy and uh, paste. And this xx, you can see the UID from this website setting. Just copy this string, this UID, and uh, paste. OK, we can choose this to zero. And this output, because our output is used Johnson format, uh, this information. So we can choose this output is a Johnson object. So we can press down and deploy. And you can see uh, this is connected with the MKT block successfully. OK, now we can see what is the output. We can also place a debug and use a line and deploy and go to the debug window. And you can see uh, this is a message have received because every time the first the first connection with the MQTT broke, it will out upload the MQTT message. We can expand uh, the message. Uh, this is ruler one to relay thirty two, and this is input one to input six, and we can expand. Uh, this is you can see every input point. Uh, this this have an arm. That is zero. Zero means uh, not triggered. If triggered, that will be one. So we can have a test. Now you can see I can trigger the input one. A short for this input one. You can see this is a message. I can explain. Uh, this is JSON format. So we can see this is input. And we can see this arm is the one. When I remove my hand, and you can see uh, this is received the new message. This is a new JSON format message. You can explain. Also, we can click the input one. Now is the zero. So we just get the input, the value of the on as uh, is one, or is a, is a one or is a zero to judgment uh, whether the speech the test. So we can use a function. Just to use, try this function. And uh, I have already write the code. Uh, this is get the input one dot on. We can just paste this. Uh, this is a payload for the message the input and the dot on. Just get this message. Uh, this message we not need to use. Not need just only the input one. So we can press it down and drive this line. And then we can let the debug can cancel this line and add to this and deploy again and clear uh, this message. And you can see I can triangle the input one 
and you can see now the message only becomes one and I remove the handle and this becomes zero so this is we can get the number from the value from all this much message I just when I shot I use one and I remove my finger I use zero so that will be easy to convenience and uh, to some message function and also now we can according to the one or to the other to use a switch node just use this switch node and connect with this line if we have used this node is one just go to this way and we can add uh, if we is zero just go to this way too and press down and you can see this this is two note this is for one and this is for zero if triangled we can use this solution and add a function again that means we can set the set the test for the speak uh, just connect with this line and uh, you can see this is my payload have write the code and double click and just paste uh, this msg.payload that means be please carefully someone may be incoming uh, this string is equal for this message payload and return this message and press down so uh, this input point when received the track code and uh, is one and will speak uh, these words uh, be careful uh, maybe someone maybe is incoming and then we just connect with this line uh, to the audio out uh, sorry this not need to judgment the zero but we can delete it and we can deploy and now you can triangle this line uh, for input one you can triangle please careful someone maybe is incoming okay now you can see uh, this is how to use the uh, input one to triangle a uh, test to speech so if you want to use the uh, channel 2, uh, the digital input channel 2, you just uh, copy these nodes and uh, just paste and just connect this line and this function we can double click uh, this just change to input 2 this is channel 2 and this switch I think you not need to change because always uh, one is triangled, the other is not triangled and this function you just need to change these words you want to speak in dot is opened uh, you can input any words just you use your local language and press down and also we can press this line to the, this audio out and you can deploy and now you can see I can use this line and triangle the input tool door is opened uh, you can see it can speak door is open I can check with the input one. Please careful. Someone maybe is incoming. Okay, now you can see I can check any input sensors that will speak the different words. So this is how to use the node red. And if you want to use many channels, just copy this this node and paste and paste and paste. So that will be easy. I want to ask tell you uh, this node red I need to use a web page. Uh, this web page so this words engine is based on the web page so just so you can open the web page in your local network uh, this not need the internet it will work without the internet so it's uh, i think it's convenient to use okay thanks for watching